Yeah, the, we were brought into the Trinity Church in Woburn, and um, uh, we, you know, went through not only the the, the text of the interview, but give, were given instructions on how to conduct the interview. You know, when somebody answered the phone, for example, um, if uh, this was more pertinent to people from Woburn, I was not from Woburn. I was from uh, living in Belmont at the time, but. Um, we were told that if you heard a familiar voice at the end of the phone, that you should terminate the call because there was some concern about you know potential um, uh, influence over the over the uh, the answers given if somebody knew that they had a friend actually asking them those questions. Um, also, uh, we were told to begin the interview saying, not referring to the to the cancer cluster per se, but just saying that we were doing a health survey that uh, with regard to potential um, effects of the environment on health, right? And so um, that's, that's what we did. And a lot of that was, again, by, by design in the sense that uh, Marvin and Steve were very, and Barbara Wesson, who was their doctoral student who was working with them, they were very concerned about trying to maintain as much of a distance as possible scientifically to avoid um, even the perception of, of bias in terms of the answers that were uh, given. Now, I think there were real uh, careful considerations as much as could be done given the circumstance to actually to, to ensure that that information from the survey itself was obtained in as unbiased a way as it could be.